Good afternoon, dear boys and girls. Today we continue to speak about the capital of our country and the topic of our lesson is Kiev, tour of the city. At the end of the following lesson, you will learn how to give and how to ask for directions in English. And also, you will know about another very famous building in Kiev. As you all know, People travel a lot nowadays, and if you ever have a chance to visit a foreign country, you should be able to ask the way to a place you want to go to. On the other hand, lots of tourists from abroad come to Ukraine, and it would be wonderful if you could be helpful and give the necessary directions. So, let's learn how to do so. I give you the list of phrases. Read them after me and write down in your vocabularies. Go straight on. Just keep going. It's about five minutes. Go straight on and take the third turn on the left. Go straight on and turn left. It's the second turn on the right. Turn right and the supermarket. Then left into Krishatik Street. And Independence Square is on your right. Now let's complete the dialogues. Use the maps to help you. Excuse me, how do I get to school from here? Okay, go straight on and in the second turn, uh, no, the third turn on the left. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Excuse me, is there a post office near here? Yes, go straight on and take the second turn on the left. The post office is opposite the bank. Thanks very much. That's okay, no problem. And now look at the map and listen to the directions. Write the place that the speaker gives directions to. A. Go straight on, then take the first left onto Green Street. Walk past the library and it's the building next to the library on the left. B. Go straight on, go past the traffic lights, you'll see a shop on the right, go past that and it's on the right next to the shop. C. Go straight on, go past the traffic lights and go straight on until you get to the roundabout. At the roundabout turn left. Go past the theatre. It's the building next to the theatre, opposite the hospital. D. Go straight on, go past the traffic lights and take the second right onto King's Road. Go past the bookshop. It's the building next to the bookshop, opposite the cafe. And now let's check your answers. A. The speaker gives directions to the post office. B. The speaker gives directions to the underground station. C. The speaker gives directions to the cinema. And D. The speaker gives directions to the bus station. And now, guys, look at this photo. Do you know what place is it? 
And where is it? It's the house with chimeras in Kiev. Strange as it may seem, but if you like unusual architecture, I advise you to visit it. Let's find out more facts about this place. Read and complete the text with the words from the box given below. We have six words. Let's read them. Architect, receptions, hunting, buildings, office, and animals. Koroditsky house, or the house with chimeras, is one of the weirdest but most popular buildings in Kyiv. It was designed by the architect Vladislav Koroditsky and completed in 1902. The building is decorated with exotic animals and creatures such as elephants, rhinoceros and dolphins because of Gorodetsky's passion for hunting. The house is situated in Bankova Street, opposite the office of the President of Ukraine. The house with chimeras is used for government and presidential receptions and is not open to the public. So, you can just look outside at this very interesting house. And now let's remember the general and special questions. Because the task of this exercise is to ask questions to the sentences given below. Looking at these sentences, we can see that all of them are in the present perfect tense. So, let's remember to create a special question Start with the w word who, what, when, where, why, how, then add have or has, then the subject, a person or thing that has done the action, followed by the third form of the verb. And if you want to create a general question, Start the question with have, has, then the subject, and the third form of the verb. Let's read the first sentence. She has already seen a very interesting film about animals. We can ask, what film has she already seen? The second they have already visited the National Historical Museum of Ukraine. When have they visited the National Historical Museum? The third. Tom has never heard of this place before. We can ask the general question, for example. Has Tom ever heard of this place before? And the last sentence. My parents have already read many books about Kyiv. What books have my parents already read? And your homework. Complete the dialogues. Use the maps to help you. Use the phrases we have learned at the beginning of our lesson. They can help you. Thank you for your attention. Goodbye.